Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 and it's apparently still coming, which is kind of obvious but it's weird that they haven't talked about it at all. So we're going to be on Kotaku today, this is by Ethan Gotch, thank you for the article, it will be linked down in the description if you'd like to read along or just read it yourself. So the title is Nintendo swears its Switch 2 announcement plans haven't changed within the console with the console still MIA. The Mar Mario Maker confirms the announcement will come before April 2025. It is a little strange that it's taking this long for Nintendo to announce the Switch 2. Okay, we know it's coming. We know it's going to be soon. We go well, at least within the next couple years at least. But it's weird the marketing push hasn't been at all anywhere close to where we thought it was going to be. Because the Switch is really old at this point. And even though for Nintendo first party games, the technology doesn't matter too much because they can they can work magic with whatever they have. But for third party people, developers, it's much harder to make games on the Switch work, especially if it's a port. If you're making a game within the Switch in mind, I'm sure it's fine. But the problem is if you want to have it on other consoles or PC, the Switch is just a downgraded version of it. And that's kind of sucks for a lot of people who own Switches who aren't just who don't just want to play the first party games because even though the Nintendo first party games are really good, it's still Nintendo has their own flavor of game. Like they're you're not going to be getting a good like a, an amazing first person shooter from Nintendo that's not Metroid. But to be fair, that is apparently coming, but it hasn't been for a while. Like, is there a first person shooter? From Nintendo? I don't even think so, other than Metroid, but those are those there's a long gaps between those games. So it's kind of unfortunate that it's taken this long, but we'll continue reading on. The Switch 2 is nowhere in sight, but Nintendo promises that it hasn't changed its announcement timeline for the new console. Nintendo president Shuntaro for Oh god, why did I always do this to myself? For Kwawa? Oh god, I'm so sorry said on Tuesday in an online press conference that revealed of the new hardware is still on track for this fiscal year ending March 2025. Okay. A reveal seemed in, in, imminent weeks ago after the company skipped its big annual September Nintendo Direct. October was when it announced the original Switch before launching in the following spring. But with no further news on the next console, despite plenty of other Nintendo announcements, a look like the Switch 2 before the end of 2024 is looking less likely. It is very strange that it's taking this long. And the main problem that I have with this is that if they're not going to be announcing until 2025, that means it's most likely coming in 2026. Because it feels like it's being delayed a lot because it's just simply not ready, which is totally fine. I'm just thinking, like, it's strange to me that it's taking this long, and I wonder why it's taking this long. Because the Switch 2, I wonder what the the catch will be of the Switch 2. Because the biggest thing about Nintendo consoles, there's always a thing for them, you know? For the Wii, it was the motion controls. For the Wii U, it was the tablet pad, uh, thing. For the DS, it was the double screens and the touchpad eventually. For the 3DS, it was the 3D aspects, even though no one really used it. For the Switch, it was the handheld device. It was a handheld and a console. So it's interesting to see, like, I wonder what the Switch 2's thing will be and if it's the reason that it's been delayed this long. Making an announcement this year has gone quite difficult. Toyo Securities analyst Hideki Yosodawa told Reuters, you would not want to divert attention to an upcoming console in the middle of a critical year and shopping season. That is true. Indeed, Nintendo is already losing ground on this year's ambitious sales plan for nearly nearly eight-year-old Switch. The company preview previously aimed to sell 13.5 million consoles in 2024. It cut that projection by 1 million in today's earning report, which is still an ambitious goal given the lack of major first-party blockbusters this holidays. Nintendo's only sold 4.2, 4.72 million Switch consoles years to date, which is still a crazy amount of sales considering it's eight years old. And like like this per like the article said, there's no real big first-party hits right now. I'm gonna say so down here, uh, so we'll just read on because I was gonna say this, but despite. A steady stream of smaller mid-sized games like Legend of Zelda Echo of Wisdom, ports like Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the original Switch is clearly running out of gas outside of Pokemon Legends ZA and Metroid Prime 4. Nintendo seems to be holding the next round of upcoming heavy hitters until the Switch 2 is out, and who knows when that will be. I was just about to say, there hasn't been like a Mario Odyssey or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild or Tears of Kingdom in a long time. 
because uh, Tears of Kingdom is over a year old now. I'm almost positive. Let's just double check that. Tears of the Kingdom came out May 12, 2023. So it's just over a year old now. So it's strange that it's still... I, I can't believe they're expecting to sell 13 million or now I guess 12 million Switch consoles because there hasn't been crazy big hit games coming out. People love Paper Mario. People love people love the idea of a Zelda game starring Zelda. But like, you're not going to be fighting Mario with that. You're not going to be... It's not big hitters. They are smaller mid-sized games and I'm sure these games are great. Uh, I eventually want to play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door eventually. But... I'm not running to the store to buy these games, you know? It's not like a Zelda or a mainline Mario game or a Pokemon game because it's just strange. It's also crazy to think that we've had two Pokemon games on the Switch. Normally that takes... Normally that is not the case because there is Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon... It was Sword and Shield and then Scarlet and Violet and the the spin-off one, Legends Arceus, and now Pokemon Legends. There was four Pokemon games on the Switch, which is crazy to think because normally there's only like one or two which is taken it which is it just says how long this is actually taken for the switch 2 to come out and with it being the announcement delayed so long i'm it's probably not going to be next year it's i'm going to be very surprised if they announce the switch 2 in 2025 and it releases like fall or winter 2025 that would be a crazy timeline but I really, I truly believe that if they announce it in 2025, it's going to be released in 2026, which is a very long time. That's going to be basically 10 years of the Switch. And the Switch was very outdated, like two years into its lifespan. So in terms of technology, because Nintendo can work their magic. Nintendo has never been the whole push gaming hardware as far as far as it can go in terms of technology but they push what they have as far as they can go because even like tears the tears of the kingdom i think is a good thing where they were like on the edge of what the switch can do because tears of the kingdom is a crazy achievement to have on the switch but you can tell that it is like eking every single bit of power out of it because it is just barely acceptable pokemon are like literally breaking um but to be fair though that might be also because of Game Freak. At this po point, I wouldn't be surprised if the company holds its big reveal showcase until the standard February Nintendo Direct. Diehard fans just need to hang on for a bit longer. A surprise release of Pokemon Legends ZA in January might help with that. After all, that's what the first Pokemon Legends game hit. That's true. That's true. I am curious. Oh, it was Pokemon Legends Arceus. That's right. Because this is the sequel to that. I am kind of curious how they're going to handle the Switch 2. And I wonder if Pokemon Legends uh, ZA and Metro Point Farm will be both games will be like released on the Switch and Switch 2. That could be a possibility, kind of like what they did with Twilight Princess, where it was on the Wii and the GameCube. But honestly, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. And Nintendo always makes their own Nintendo decisions. You can never really predict what Nintendo does because Nintendo is a wild card for anything they do. And it's very hard to predict but if they were going to be doing it in the february nintendo direct i can't imagine they're going to be releasing their switch 2 that year it's probably going to be 2026 which i do feel like is a very long time but nintendo out of all the companies that can do it it's definitely nintendo they the fact that they think that they thought they could sell the fact that they could they thought they could sell 13.5 million consoles in 2024 is crazy to me because the switch is eight years old and they didn't have any big hitter games and they thought no we can still sell 13.5 million consoles and they haven't even hit halfway which you know is to say that yeah the switch is running out of gas in terms of first party party games because everyone's probably working on games for the switch too because i'm sure nintendo employees and all the in and the teams in nintendo have the switch too and they've been working on games for the switch too but it's taking so long that they've run out of things for the switch one <laughs> but we'll see well it is a wait and see thing only nintendo really knows the answer but i hope it is at least i hope it is 2026 if it's later than that then oh my gosh that's such a long time but thank you everyone for watching today's video if you'd like to support me please subscribe to the youtube channel Hit like, comment down below what you guys think. Is it too long? Who knows? I personally am really only interested in Metroid Prime 4 when it comes to these games. I have, I'm have i not a huge Pokemon person. So it'll be interesting to see how these games, if they can sell more Switches. So close to the Switch 2's hopeful 
release date. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on other platforms, I have a Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and a Blue Sky. If you'd like to follow me on those ones, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye, everyone.